What's going on guys? Welcome to the video. So it is like seven o'clock in the morning. We have an early morning training session. We have to be at the field at like 7.30. So um, I'm really just gonna have like a quick banana and then just change, run out the door and uh, get the training session in because later today we're traveling down to Austin for like a five or six day away trip playing Austin back to back down there in like the biggest, you know, couple of games of our season. So um, yeah, should be good, but I'm gonna eat and head out. training it was like an hour and a half session um it was a little bit lighter but still like you know when you're playing every wednesday saturday wednesday saturday and these like crazy condensed times it can be really easy just to go into training and like kind of like wave it off and do nothing so i mean we've been really making an effort to actually get good training sessions and actually kind of make a push and actually still compete and to like train um just because, I mean, you, you don't want to just have every single day be like a recovery day because it, at some point it's just too much nothing and too much, it's just too easy. So um, we have been making the trainings a little bit, you know, still tough, it's still definitely tough. So right now I have like an hour, so I got to kind of move. I already packed up pretty much, but I have an hour to shower, change, make breakfast, and then uh, leave to the shuttle. So for breakfast, I'm not, yes, I think I have enough Barely enough coffee beans for one more cup of coffee. I didn't really go to the grocery store and load up that much because I knew I was going to be gone for a while. Um, I'm going to have two Greek yogurts, some pineapple, probably cut up an orange, and do I have any oatmeal? Yes, and I'll have some oatmeal as well, so that'll be breakfast. I did that already. Okay, there's breakfast, fruit, Greek yogurt, and oatmeal. I'm just going to eat this real quick and make sure I'm packed up. I'm gonna like triple check everything because when it's six days, if you forget something, <laughs> you're screwed. So I'm gonna double check chargers, double check all of my, my stuff that I need for trainings and the games and the recovery sessions, check all of my outfits that I'm gonna wear, like if I have enough underwear, socks. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I just don't want to forget anything, so I'm going to triple check everything, and then I'm leaving here at 10.50. Okay, I think I'm all packed up now. I got my boots, shin pads, um, step socks, computer, all those chargers and stuff like that in this bag. I got my toiletry bag, and then I got my extra like sweatshirts, pants, underwear, socks, all my extra clothes for just lounging around in that bag. So I think I'm set. I got like 15 minutes, so I'm ahead of schedule, AKA right on schedule. So now I can enjoy my cup of coffee, chill here for 15 minutes, and then I gotta head out. You're way too retired. Bradley, how are you enjoying that bowl? <laughs> it's good? No, I don't want to be on your channel. I don't want to be on anything. Noted. Eric, how's the bowl? Good. Byers, how's the bowl? It's good. Shelly got two cookies. Actually, yes, three I do. white rice. Three two cookies. cookies? Three cookies and white rice. No, two cookies. <laughs> two cookies. I don't he know why you guys himself, see three. He called himself a nutritionist. <laughs> huh. I know. Callum. It happened when you buy in Chinatown. Yeah. <laughs> Some fake, fake toiletry bags. Yes, yeah, so fake, bro. Callum, what are you doing, bro? Just playing five balls. Just getting into the hotel room right now. It's like uh, 5.41 in the evening. So that means it's probably like, what, six, seven hours of travel. Not too bad. It's nice to fly down here instead of busing like last time. And it's also going to be nice to actually play a game since last time we bust all the way down here and then they had a player test positive for coronavirus so then we had to stay the night and then bus all the way back without playing a game um, 
Yeah, so it's kind of funny to be back in this hotel. Let me show you the hotel room. Nice king size bed. Nice couch over here. Got TV, TV's already hooked up with Netflix, so I don't have to watch on my phone or laptop. I can actually watch stuff on TV. Let's check out the view. <laughs> Beautiful, Austin, Texas. Yeah, all nice, I got my stuff. We picked up some waters and Gatorades down in the lobby. I'm um, in our team room, so I got that. And then here's the bathroom. Nice, big shower, nice bathroom. Boom. Uh, as far as the rest of the night goes, um, dinner should be here at like six, I think. So any minute we'll get a text saying that the dinner's ready for pickup. We'll go down and pick up the dinner. And then uh, eat, I think probably eat it up in, in the room, unless we can eat it down there, in which case I'll, I'll eat it down there with the team. But most likely it's kind of grab and go, bring it back up to the hotel room and then get ready for the rest of this trip because this is just chilling, watching TV, hanging out. I'll be editing some stuff on my, on my laptop, but I'm gonna be in this hotel room for the next five days. And the agenda is very, we really don't have much. It's just meals. Um, and that's, that's pretty much it. We'll have like a, a few meetings. We'll obviously have the two games against Austin. We have like one recovery session, one actual training session. But other than that, I mean, it's just hanging out and just waiting. And it's, it makes things worse even with the coronavirus because, you know, I've been on these long trips before and usually you can congregate and, and hang out with the guys or even go out and explore Austin a little bit or go to do something. But it's just in the hotel room recommended to be by yourself you know we're not supposed to congregate in groups and play card games and do all that stuff so it's going to be a long and boring trip but as long as we perform as long as we do well in the games then no worries it's all worth it okay just picked up dinner um looks like we got zoe's kitchen again we've had this before let's see what we got yep so we got um Chicken, some rice, a little, a little sauce, and veggies. And we got some pita bread. We got some more rice. We got some pasta. And we got a fruit cup. So that's dinner right here. Six o'clock in, uh, in the evening. Um, I'm going to eat this. And then I am going to probably edit up a little bit of a of a vlog, the last, the home game vlog. I haven't even started editing up that yet. So I'll probably edit that tonight. I like to do the work like now because on game days, that's when I like to be a little bit more relaxed and not working and, and just let my mind just zone out and do whatever. So yeah, work a little bit on that and then probably just watch Netflix and hang out. Here, here's the start of hanging out and doing nothing. fantastic fantastic night of sleep let me pull up the app uh once again i use auto sleep on the apple watch none of this is sponsored i don't get paid anything i just really like the app um here is my sleep last night i got 10 hours and 14 minutes of sleep uh two and a half hours of deep sleep and my heart rate was down to 42 beats per minute and i got a sleep rating of 100 percent so can't, can't get much better than that, to be honest. Um, breakfast is pretty much ready. I'm gonna head down and grab that and then come back up. How's breakfast, Cal? <laughs> the next thing on the agenda for today is a team walk at 10.30, so I think it's like 9.30. Let me double check. Yep, it's 926, so basically in, in an hour we head back down the lobby and then we're just gonna go on like a five, 10 minute walk outside, maybe do a little bit of some like some dynamic or static stretching and then come right back in. And then we won't have anything until lunch, probably around two, so. We've got like an hour to kill right now. So I'm just gonna kinda enjoy drinking some coffee and yeah, I'll probably just go on social media for the next hour. Help your boy. No, it's okay.
Huh? That doesn't look much different to all of you. It doesn't matter. So now it is 11 o'clock in the morning. Um, that means we have four hours until our team meeting and team meal at 3 p.m. So yeah, I'm just gonna watch Netflix. I'm gonna watch uh, the Black Mirror Bandersnatch where you like it a pick, it's like a pick your own adventure like movie thing, Black Mirror, whatever. Um, so it should be interesting. And then maybe take a nap, I don't know. <laughs> I'm really not sure. <laughs> Just finished the team meal and uh, team meeting. Um, we've already played these guys, so we just kind of watched the film when we played them and just talked about like um, specific plays and how they play and kind of like little things about that. Um, lunch was really good. We also got like a ton of snacks. I also kind of like loaded up on a little bit of extra snacks because I'm going to be here for four or five days, so I want to be uh, have some food because between breakfast and lunch, I was like pretty hungry. So. Got a couple granola bars, uh, a couple more of like Nutri-Grain bars like that. Got a couple of bananas. Boom, got three waters. And then we also got this little pack. Let's see what we got in here. Got like a little light and fit yogurt. Got an apple. Got a cookie. Little banana mutt. Banana, banana nut muffin and another water. So I'm not gonna eat, I'll probably have like one granola bar or like the apple before the game. So I'm just gonna kind of like refrigerate a lot of this stuff, have it for uh, just snacks, especially tomorrow when we're just gonna be here all day and the next day uh, and the next day. <laughs> okay, it is 4.15 in the afternoon. We're leaving here at 6 p.m. So I'm gonna take about Come on, here we go. I'm gonna take about a 45 minute nap and then um, do my typical like pregame shower, shave, get all freshened up, and then we meet in the lobby at six for the game. So, uh, good night. Okay, it took like a uh, 40 minute power nap, feeling great. It's like that perfect amount where it's like for 20, 30 minutes, you kind of like drift in and out of sleep, but it's not like a heavy, deep, dreaming sleep where you wake up and feel groggy. I'm feeling fresh, I'm feeling good right now. Um, so now I'm gonna do my typical pregame uh, routine of shower, get all ready, get all packed up, get all changed, and then meet down in the lobby at 6 p.m. to leave. So finally now, this is where it starts. This is the exciting part, so let's do it. Gets the night off as we are underway. Yeah, so clever on the on the bench to start, but there you see Forbes up top, three goals in his last two games. Really, just been on a hot streak, and uh, the Austin Bolt as a whole on a very good streak. First, headed right at Lewis from Garcia. Billy Forbes able to turn full speed ahead down the stretch. He comes. It's Billy Forbes. He'll center this one uncontested almost off his left boot. Extra tap and it's back to Lewis with the stump. <laughs> Boy, that was a very dangerous counterattack. That was Billy Forbes at his back. Austin looked like they were willing to concede this one and they have to Tulsa. This ball will briefly get away. They thought it was gonna be too heavy, but nice recovery. Suarez, eyes on Restrepo, Ooh, fires one home. FC Tulsa strikes first in the opening half hour. And Dario Suarez is red hot to begin September. Let's take another look here. He sized it up, curling effort, and it just goes off the finger. McFarlane slips it through. Bias. Oh, is he oh onside my headed? Lewis with a save. 
Flag stayed down. Sean Lewis, no time to think, just pure reaction. <laughs> It'll be a corner kick, though, for the Bulls. Let's look at this again. Here it is, ball into four. And, yeah, I mean, Lewis. Dioff will come off. Beto Avila, the 19-year-old from right here in Austin, will come on. Guadarrama handles the corner. Baez will settle. Back post and headed wide from Garcia. And the flag was up. It would have been a moot point even if he had found the angle. To get a little insurance against RGB the other night, they could have been ahead if they had improved their goal differential. Soto sends one into the masses. Oh. Avila, Beto. We are level in Austin. Well, Lincoln, the substitutes, they come in and they make a difference. That's all you can ask for. Soto with the great cross in with that left boot. And there's the finish from Avila. Tonight, here's the look. Soto again, great ball. And Avila, right man, at the right place at the right time, and beats Lewis, which is no small feat tonight. And there he is. You just have to anticipate those opportunities. Sent in, back post, Restrepo with the stop. And the rebound goes wide. Diego Restrepo will salvage a late point for Austin. point um could be worse just frustrating because it's like i felt like we should have won that game and just like one skimmed header to the back post and we lost and we had a couple opportunities late in the game to to win just couldn't capitalize but could be worse i mean that's a, a tie and getting you know each getting a point is way better than than losing that game and going down three points so, uh, yeah, it's just kind of like, okay, let's recollect ourselves, let's recover, let's get ready, let's re-prepare, and let's go after it again on Tuesday and uh, hopefully get three points, push a pat, push past Austin, and uh, finish out the season and make playoffs. Good night, guys, and I'll catch you tomorrow. Good morning, guys. What's going on? So, um, just waking up right now. I actually had a pretty decent night's sleep for... Uh, a post game sleep um, just tracked it so I got like 7 hours and 50 minutes of sleep with over 6 hours of that being quality um, an hour and 18 minutes of deep sleep and my heart rate was down to 47 beats so basically they gave me an 89% efficiency and a sleep rating of 88% uh, which is not bad I mean usually I, I fill up everything up for the most part green 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 and get at least like minimum like eight hours of sleep so it's not too bad um we still have like two more nights i think if, I, if my math is right yeah two more nights before the game uh before the next game so i'll for sure be able to recover and get some good night's sleeps but uh but yeah that's that's the start of the day uh as as for right now i'm gonna head down and grab my breakfast i'm got like an egg sandwich ordered up and some coffee oh. and, so I'm gonna head down there and grab that in about 10 minutes. I'm just gonna get all dressed up and ready. And then we have a little recovery session in the gym. Um, Cause I guess the pool's close. We're not doing the pool anymore. We're just going to the gym, doing a little recovery session. And then that's pretty much it for the day. So yeah, let's get it. Nice little sandwich for breakfast. Some potatoes, latte, Rodrigo, yep. Kevin, <laughs> and Sean. What a great company. Not gonna say anything, that's it? Company's plural. What's great company? A great company. What, what a great company, what great company. What great company, thank you. Kevin, what's up sweetheart? Okay, it is 10.44, I just hung out for about an hour or so down the lobby, hanging out with the guys, drinking coffee, talking about the game, talking about just whatever, so that was nice. 
Um, now I'm gonna quickly change into some workout gear for the recovery session. I'm gonna guess right now it's gonna be about 30 minutes. We'll probably do uh, like a 10 minute treadmill jog. We'll do a little bit of like core work and maybe some band work for like the glutes, hamstrings, stuff like that. And then it's just gonna be stretched, so. Body fat percentage, Stop Rodrigo. Woo! Wow, where's your YouTube channel coming out? Please, you're gonna have to pay me. Uh, I will. <laughs> Just drop the workout routine, and I'll pay you. to be outside in the sun and doing some of that band work and stretching and uh, you know they have a pretty decent gym in there so we got some stuff in did some foam rolling did some stretching as well so pretty good now I'm gonna shower and then that's pretty much it for the rest of the day I mean we have a, a team lunch and a team dinner where we just kind of go down pick up the meal and bring it back up to a hotel room again so I don't know if that's really a team lunch or team dinner but that's it for today so <laughs> Yeah, uh, kind of a slow day. It's gonna be a lot of Netflix. Uh, I'm going to do a lot of my Become Elite work today. I mean, I'm going to edit up a full video. Uh, I'll probably even start to edit another game an analysis video, post to Instagram. It's just gonna be a very like Become Elite work intensive day because we have a long time until the game. I'm not gonna like mentally drain or fatigue myself for, for that. So yeah, this is gonna be my, uh, my work day. Exactly. What they've done, by the way, with that turkey is just died. got it from a tub and just gone out. <laughs> Get it all in there. <laughs> That's one tub of turkey. That's massive. It's like, it, was a, it was a cool read. It was like the... All right, just getting back from lunch. Um, now I'm going to finish up editing the last vlog, the home game vlog. Um, I've already probably worked on it for like three or four hours, so I think I have like another two or three hours to go. Um, then just start exporting and uploading it, and then um, while that's going on, I'll probably take a nap. So yeah, it's uh, 1.15, and the next thing we have is dinner at, at 6, so I have like five and a half, five hours and 45 minutes to kind of kill right now, or no, my math's wrong, four hours and 45 minutes of kind of just free time, so edit this, take a nap, and then I'll, I'll watch uh, the game from last night all the way through and start to like analyze it a little bit. Okay, it's 2.30 in the afternoon. I just finished editing up the home game vlog, so that's gonna be exporting. All that's exporting. I'm gonna take a nap, so I'm gonna shut these blinds and probably pass out for like an hour. 
Okay, it's like 5 p.m. I took like a 30 minute nap. I didn't even go half asleep. I was just wide awake for the entire time. So it really wasn't even a nap. It was kind of just more of like a, a breathing session. Um, but yeah, like 30, 40 minutes, just kind of like laying in bed, um, feeling good. And then I just popped up and I've been working on preparing the video for tomorrow. So I did uh, the thumbnail, got it all prepared, uploaded it to YouTube. So been working on that for the last hour or so. Um, we have dinner in another hour, so I'm going to start watching the game from last night. I haven't watched it through. I've seen some highlights, but I haven't watched it like the 90 minutes through, so I'm going to start watching that. Um, just doing like kind of like some quick analysis, and then um, I'll probably eat dinner and then finish it up after dinner. And then at 7 p.m. tonight, Armando, who I always, if you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you know Armando. Armando uh, is one of my really close friends from college. I played with him at UC Davis. He's playing um, at LA Force right now, uh, which is in the NISA, in the NISA League. So I'm gonna watch their game online, gonna stream that game at 7 p.m. because this is his first like 90 minutes that he's gonna get, you know, I think in 2020, if I'm, I think that's right, but I don't, I'm not 100% sure, so. Uh, gonna support him, watch the game, and uh, hopefully he, he does well and the team does well. Today is also Mimi's birthday, so I've been kind of you know talking to her, uh, wishing her a happy birthday and and all that stuff. She's doing well. She's just in California right now. Um, she would be in Tulsa, but I, with me being in Austin, we kind of planned ahead. I was like, look, I don't want you to be in Tulsa by yourself for your birthday. Like at least go back to California, be with your friends and family and everybody and and enjoy it there. Um, we'll get Andrew to cat sit and everything. So so hopefully she's uh, doing well over there. But it's just another thing. I mean, like the amount of holidays, birthdays, anniversaries that Mimi and I have been separate from each other because of, of professional soccer is just countless. I mean, so many birthdays, so many anniversaries, so many holidays spent apart. And it's hard. I mean, it, it kind of sucks. Like, you know, we should be together today. We should be celebrating her birthday. We should be going out to a nice dinner. We should be doing all this stuff. And I'm just in a hotel room in Austin, just hanging out, working, you know, just kind of bored. And I think that's like one of the sacrifices that obviously just comes along with being a pro. Um, I mean, you want to say, oh, it's always worth it. It's always worth it. But like, you know, you'd be lying to say that it's not hard. Like, I wish I could be with her today. I wish I could celebrate a lot of the holidays and anniversaries and birthdays that a lot of the time I just don't get to celebrate or I don't get to be with, you know, my close friends and family for that. Yeah, so, I mean, it's just, just a little thing. It's just, I mean, just one of those things. I feel like every single year I'm making a video and talking, you know, about something about how I wish I could be celebrating some major event and I'm always away from it. So once I'm done and once I'm retired, I think that's going to be the thing that I cherish the most is just being constantly around friends and family and not missing out as much as I have been over the last seven, eight, nine years, even if you count college, probably 10 years now. Right, what's going on guys? It's a little bit later. I haven't vlogged in a bit. It's like 7.40 at night, but I watched the first half of our game versus Austin. So it was actually a lot better than I thought. It's funny, you play in it, you kind of think, you know, things need to be different or you didn't play that well or the team didn't play that well, but I thought we did really well in the first half. Um, and then we had a team dinner, which was just like chicken alfredo pasta or different forms of pasta from a restaurant that we got. So I ate that, came back up, finished watching the second half of the game. And uh, now I'm just watching uh, Armando play. So I'm watching LA Force playing Oakland Roots right now up on the TV, show you guys. But just watching Mondo in the back. Unfortunately, Armando uh, is the goalkeeper for LA Force and they're down 2-0 right now, but it's a pretty good game. It's also cool because this player right here on the black team, that's Manny Gonzalez. He played on the Roughnecks with me last year. So pretty cool. Uh-oh, let's see what happens. There's Armando right there. Wow. Yes, Mondo. Nicely played there. Good work. All right, so I'm just gonna watch the rest of this game and then uh, probably watch uh, some Netflix after that and then probably call it a night. So that's it. All right, good morning. Um, had an amazing night of sleep last night. Had a. Uh, Eight hours and 45 minutes of sleep with 99% efficiency. They gave me a sleep rating of 100%. 
almost three hours of deep sleep. Yeah, pretty quality, quality sleep session. I'm feeling good um, as well. It's always funny too, like the nights where I kind of like, oh, you know, I, I don't feel good or I, f- I feel fatigued or whatever. I always like, it's pretty accurate. Like it shows me like, oh, you woke up or you didn't have that much uh, deep sleep or whatever. So it's, it's cool to uh, just see that. And I, I like tracking that as well, even though like you kind of know when you have a good sleep or not, but it's just, it keeps me honest. Like it, it really does every single day just hold me accountable like that's a, a, a green yellow or red like every single morning I wake up and I just can see it firsthand if I had a good night's sleep a bad night's sleep a great night's sleep or whatever so yeah I, I love that so anyway it is like eight o'clock in the morning uh, my breakfast is all ready so I'm just gonna throw on some shoes and, and run down there uh, same breakfast all the usual but after that we have a team meeting and the team training All right, just getting back to the room right now after training. It is 12.53. Um, we have the rest of the, the day, evening, night off. All we have is just dinner at like 6 p.m. So, uh, oops. I'm going to just drop off my food right here. We got Schlotzky's, looks like a sandwich, like the typical little sandwich boxes that we get. Just gonna drop off the food, pop in the shower, and uh, then I have another fun-filled day of Netflix. Um, probably watching some soccer games and Oh, I'll probably edit a little game analysis, so I have a little bit of work as well. So, yeah, that's that's what it's looking like. Okay, so I'll shower it up. Here's lunch. Um, Schlotzky's looks like we got a cookie, a little chicken sandwich, and then we have a little salad with some vinaigrette sauce. I also have like a couple Nutrigrain bars, a couple bananas, so I'll just uh, eat all this stuff up. Um, so the training, the training to this morning, this is the day before the game. And a lot of people think that the training before the game is like very light. Um, it definitely is lighter than the normal sessions, but like it's still a tough session. And just to show you guys, um, I tracked it with the soccer tracker app on my Apple Watch. And I mean, I burned 516 calories from that session. Uh, my distance was three and a half miles. So I ran three and a half miles during that, that session. And uh, I mean, heart rate was getting up to like 167 beats per minute, which isn't that crazy. Just to show you that it's like, that it's not completely intense, like heart rate getting up to like 200 beats per minute or anything, or I'm not running like seven or eight miles in that training session, but it's still pretty intense. Okay. It's time for a little nap. Oh, good night. Play. Uh... Of course, when you cannot play when you are injured, that's that's uh, really sad. But you need to be strong, especially mentally. When I was on the bench, I never give up. I always work. Okay, so I went over to um, Calm's room and we were just watching the Tottenham Hotspurs documentary on Amazon Prime, which was really, really good. Uh, we almost finished the first episode, so I might watch some more of that right now. Um, other than that, <laughs> It's just, I'm kind of getting over being in a hotel, to be honest. I'm just getting a little bored. Uh, yeah, most of the guys are kind of feeling the same way. Just like, I'm like, what are you guys doing? What's going on? They're like, nothing. T- taking two and a half hour naps and watching Netflix or watching TV or playing video games or doing whatever. So in theory, it's really nice. It's really nice to have a lot of free time. But um, yeah, it just kind of just kind of gets old. Um, what time is it now? Um, it's 6.30, so I'll, I'll probably just keep on watching that, uh, that Tottenham documentary, and then, yeah. Yeah, that's, <laughs> honestly, that's, uh, that's probably all I'll do. So, it's more special now. Deli Alley, they're slipping, they're sliding, it's in! Lucas Moura with the hat trick goal! Lucas Moura! Hi, right, good morning guys. It is game day, finally. It feels like we've just been waiting for so long. Um, I had a great night's nice sleep again last night. Can't complain, 10 hours and 12 minutes of sleep uh, with like seven hours of quality sleep and they gave me another sleep rating of 100%. So fantastic, really can't get much better than that. Um, I'm going to head down 
and grab breakfast, like the same thing. I just like uh, have like a little breakfast sandwich with like eggs, bacon, some like brioche bun, uh, potatoes, and a cup of coffee. So I'll run down and grab that. And then pretty much just like the typical away game day routine with a little team walk after that. Then we have like a long free time period. Then around 3 p.m. we have a team meeting, team meal, of some more free time. And then we leave here at 6 p.m. to head off to the stadium for an 8 p.m. kickoff tonight. So um, I'll take you guys along. This game is so, so important. I mean, we tied the last game against Austin. So if we get a win, we're gonna get three points ahead of them. We'll be into second place and then we'll be in a great position to finish out the season and to get into playoffs. So. Let's pray for that to happen. Another team walk, Cal. All yes. different from the last ones. Gotta film it. Yeah, nice and rainy. <laughs> Beautiful. Jeez. Can I help you, Bradley? No one cares. Like, no one. No one in the world cares that you're on a walk in the morning. Shelly did the, the sprint with the slowest people on the team. He was too scared who, to do it with the quickest. Who is faster than those people? Marlon. Marlon's not I'll, fast. I'll just shove difference. Bradley in there. Bradley's slow. Who else? I beat you in a finish. That's not a speed test. Hello. That's not a speed I'm still test. still faster than you. <laughs> okay, we'll do it. We can race. There is way faster people. Panin and Marlon are faster than No, Panin and Marlon are, are not good on long, like half field. Marlon's not faster than me. Mar the okay, so that's pretty much... Uh, it for the morning, a little, <laughs> a little five, 10 minute walk. Uh, it's really nice outside. It's probably like 85 degrees, cloudy, just a little drizzle of a rain. The only thing that's a little bit scary is that there's, it looks like there's gonna be some thunderstorms this afternoon, evening, into the night. So I'm just praying once again for no weather delays. We had a little weather delay last time. It was like 30 minutes, it wasn't that bad, but as long as we don't play again at like 2 a.m., I'll be okay. Um, so yeah, so now it's like, what time is it? Like 11? Yeah, probably around there. It's probably like 11. We don't have anything until 3 p.m. So I'm going to watch a little bit more of the Tottenham Hotspurs documentary. And I will also uh, do a little bit of editing. I want to do a little game analysis video. So I'm just going to watch a game, kind of cut it up a little bit. Nothing too crazy. Just edit a little bit, watch a little bit of the Tottenham documentary, and then just, just chill. Chill until 3 p.m. I didn't sign your deal because... I thought I wanted to try something new. My football career is short. You know, I've, I've, I've felt that and I'm only 27. It is difficult because on any club, if your contract runs out, it's just a business because the money in the end. Just watching Callum's homeland play. Hey, what are you doing you that face for? It's England. Warm it up. What's your hometown then? Mexico or uh, USA? USA, come on. That's not what you told me before. No, I can't even speak Spanish. There we go. What's your prediction on score? Oh, wow. Okay. Let's go 2 0. 2 0, okay. 2 0, Denmark? I'm not going to buy it. Alright, let's see. Come on. Um, so just had a team meeting and lunch. Lunch was pretty much as basic as it gets. We had like green beans, brown rice, chicken, pasta, and a little side salad as well. Um, just had that. Now it is like four o'clock in the afternoon. We don't leave here until six. So we have two hours. I'm gonna take probably about a 45 minute nap wake up and then do my typical pregame routine of shower, get all packed up, get ready for the game, and then head down. Um, yeah, <laughs> uh, there's not much, not much. I mean, Callum came over and we watched England play Denmark. Uh, I didn't see the end of the game because we had to leave, but just been kind of hanging out. So take a quick little nap and then it's game time. Whew, okay, good morning. It's like uh, 5.20 right now. I woke up like five minutes before my alarm. Perfect, that's exactly what I want, like a 40, 45 minute nap. Um, not feeling groggy at all, feeling well rested. Just feeling really excited and motivated right now. I'm gonna hop in the shower, do my typical shower, um, shave, get all ready, and then let's head down the lobby and we'll go. Um, I'm just, I'm so excited. I'm, this is such a big game. If we get three points tonight, 
that's going to really, really set us up for playoffs. And if we lose, it's going to make it that much harder to make playoffs. So, I mean, I think looking at every single game that we've played this season, this game in particular will be the biggest game. Okay, it is like 5.45. I'm just getting ready to head down the lobby right now, just making sure I have everything, like my Titan vest that holds the GPS unit, my shin pads, my boots, step socks, little things that I have to take care of. Um, other than that, like I think I'm all ready. So yeah, I'm just excited. I mean, this is why you play. I mean, the games like tonight, where there's a lot on the line, there's a lot of pressure. Um, this is This is what it's all about, so. Yeah, just really, really pumped for today. And I'm putting a lot of pressure on this game. And obviously that's always dangerous, but uh, yeah, I just really want to win. So let's get three points. No one cares. <laughs> Could not fill out their bench. And a lot of those reinforcements have come from local ties. Able to turn, exposed frame. This ball slips through, and it's Tulsa again. Able to land the opening blow here tonight. And, and yeah, you might as well bust out in song because it's Dario Suarez who's making all the Tulsa fans swoon Lincoln with his goal scoring exploits. Six goals now. For Hecker in fine form, and you've got the, the chance. Those finishes are always going to hit the back of the net. It's... Ball sent in. Restrepo with a stop. Follow up. It goes home. It's a brace for Suarez. Goal number seven. Restrepo's unable to save. And that was a really nice buildup. That was nice work from Tulsa. The bolt unable to clear. Okugo lands on it from outside the area. Mm. Joan pulls the trigger, deflected, and they'll get a handball. And the question is where? Get what they were looking for. Here it is. And yeah, it looks like it struck. I think that was a Yagua. Boulder on the board. Guadarrama comes through. There it is right there. And then you saw Lewis leaning. Not much time left before that whistle sends us to halftime. Can the ball find a second one? Forbes, Billy, just one. Boy, that was just an absolute rocket off the right foot of Forbes, and looks like that's going to be the last kick of the half. Here's another look, and Forbes, boy, he went for goal. Lewis got a little finger on it. Arch, can you name the winningest head coach in Austin Bold history? <laughs> Ryan Thompson? <laughs> Close. <laughs> He's never lost. Guadarrama. Sonny looking for a brace of his own. No need for Sean Lewis to put on that Superman cape this time around. Joan. Back post. Taylor finished off by Garcia. Right place, right time. It's a great ball there from Joan. Header across. I think that was Taylor. Baez has Forbes making the run. Great ball. Billy Forbes off to the races. Oh. To Amasi. That ball just deflected wide. I don't know how they didn't score, Lincoln. I mean, that was set up perfect. Thought he found a gift. Billy and the bold will settle for a draw. They'll take it after trailing by two goals in the first half. <sighs> well, um, at least it's at least it's not a loss. I mean, it's just so frustrating to go up two and then concede two and to tie. It, that feels more like a loss than a tie. 
I'm just sick of tying too. I think that's like our fifth or sixth tie this season. And I'm just tired of it. Yeah, I just don't I just didn't think we played well either. It's just so like our possession is just not not good. It's just like it just feels like it's we're trying to build. It feels stagnant. And then we try to counter and then we immediately lose it and then it's just a counterattack on their part. And they're like it always feels like they're more dynamic, they get better opportunities. It, I mean, that second half just was like carnage. It was just defending, defending, defending. I don't think I've ever ran and defended as much as I have in that game. Just insane. I'm absolutely just wiped. I'm so tired and dead. Oh, and then we have another game on Saturday. So a few more days. It's going to be a crazy end of the season. We're literally going Wednesday, Saturday, Wednesday, Saturday, Wednesday, Saturday. Five more games. I would love I would love to look at the stats for that game to see how many miles I ran. I, I would guess probably like eight or nine. All right, so what I'm going to do right now, since I, I won't be able to sleep, I mean, <laughs> there's just no way. We leave tomorrow. We leave the hotel at 745 in the morning, so not too early of a morning um, but I'm going to write in my little journal about the game about this full week about the two games against Austin so I like doing that I mean it's fresh in my mind right now I'm, I'm emotional so I think it's a good time to uh, to do it so I'll, I'll write an entry in this and then I'll pop in bed or I'll go brush my teeth get ready for bed pop in bed and then probably watch like a little bit of Netflix or something until I fall asleep. <sighs> in the morning all packed up just getting ready to head down the lobby to leave uh, looking at my sleep last night it was terrible which makes complete sense that always happens to me I got five hours and 12 minutes of sleep only an hour of deep sleep only like four hours of quality sleep yeah just really bad I got a 68% sleep rating but that's like that's pretty typical to be honest after games I, I never can get seven hours of sleep even so yeah, it's okay. Um, anyway, I don't want to film the whole <laughs> vlog back to, uh, to Tulsa, so I'll just see you guys there in like a second. Okay, made it back to my apartment finally. It's like 3 o'clock in the afternoon, so a very long day of travel. I'm here with the Goochster. Gucci, hey, I missed you, bro. I missed you. She's alive and well, so thank you to Andrew for taking care of her while I was gone. Um, yeah, so now... Finally back, it was a long, long road trip, long day of travel, everything. I'm really tired, I'm exhausted. All the guys are just exhausted, especially last night. Like that game, I think, was just, for everybody, just such an intense, just carnage of just running and battling. It's just crazy. And it's just insane that we have another game now on Saturday already coming up. Um, <laughs> So it's going to be these next few days are going to be so important to recover and make sure that we're still tactically and technically sharp while also watching and taking care of our bodies and just trying to be as ready as possible when we take on OKC um, this weekend. I mean, this is a, a derby game. This is against our interstate rivals. So another huge game coming up. Um, unfortunately, I can't really rest and chill that much right now because we have to get tested for the coronavirus. So I have to run off literally as soon as I get back to my apartment. I just said hi to Gucci. Now I have to run off, go get the throat swab for COVID. And then I can finally come back here and basically unpack, shower, and just <laughs> try to like, <laughs> I don't even know, just, just try to like relax and be at home for a bit. Um, anyway, that's going to be it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. That was the road trip down to Austin. Two games played. Came back with two points. Not ideal, but not terrible. All the same. Unfortunately, we're kind of back exactly where we started. And so now these next five games, these last five games are huge for making playoffs. 
um, it's make or break it. So let's go. I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, peace.